Well, I guess this message is advisory. How does this happen? So this is a pitot tube. It's a probe that penetrates the airflow with a hole in the front to allow REM air to enter. This is the pointy end of a process that allows the pilot to view the airspeed on the relevant display on the instrument panel. Unfortunately, bugs and debris have a nasty tendency to set up camp in the pitot hole, which is as troublesome as it sounds. For this reason, we have pitot covers that stop anything from finding its way in there when the aircraft is parked on the ground. So living in an atmosphere, we all experience air pressure. Static pressure acts on everything in the atmosphere all the time. It acts on an object in all directions equally. Dynamic pressure acts on an object moving through the atmosphere. You can notice the difference by putting your hand out of the car window when stationary and when moving. The faster you go, the more your hand is pushed backwards because the dynamic pressure is increasing. When moving, both static and dynamic pressure are acting on your hand, and that's what's entering the pitot tube, which is stuck out in the airflow interacting with it just like your hand. This is called total pressure. We already know that static pressure acts on us when we're stationary and moving. So if we remove this pressure from the pressure being measured by the pitot source, we're left with just dynamic pressure, and therefore a measurement of airspeed. This is an airspeed indicator. The way this calculation is done is that air from the pitot source, which is total pressure, enters the expandable capsule here. There's a second entrance into the space outside of the capsule, which comes from the aircraft's static pressure source, which is flush with the airflow. With static pressure on the outside of the capsule, pushing back on the expansion, the static pressure is cancelled out, leaving only dynamic pressure. There are mechanical linkages around the capsule to convert this to an airspeed reading. Now imagine blocking the pitot source by leaving the protective cover on. The capsule can't expand from dynamic pressure because the ram air is prevented from entering. It's not airtight, so static is still available. So now the calculation being done is static pressure minus static pressure, which is zero. That's why we're seeing a big fat zero and no registered airspeed here. So how does a pilot allow themselves to get into the air in this situation? That's a good question, let's discuss it. Airspeed is a crucial piece of information for a pilot, particularly for takeoff landing and ensuring safe margins above stalling while maneuvering. Taking an aircraft into the air without it is not a wise display of airmanship. As it's important, the pitot cover has a sizable red flag attached to it, so it's obvious that it's in place and needs to be removed. That's what's flapping around in the airflow here. As pilots, we're expected to perform a number of checks on the aircraft prior to every flight. Initially approaching the aircraft gives us our first opportunity to take a big picture overview of the aircraft, looking for anything obvious about the aircraft. A long red tape hanging off the aircraft, for example. The pre-flight inspection is a detailed 360 degree walk around the aircraft, checking the conditions of the external aspects of the various systems. Wing surface and pitot tube checks would be expected, giving the pilot another opportunity to notice and remove the pitot cover, which should be flapping around in his face on this high wing aircraft. Prior to starting the aircraft, a vigilant pilot should do a visual check of the surrounding area to ensure that spinning the propeller is going to be safe. We know that this red flag is visible from the cockpit, so it should have also been noticed here. Prior to maneuvering the aircraft on the ground, another visual check, at least left and right, would be performed. Yet another opportunity. Before takeoff, most checklists call for a full and free flight controls check. This would normally be accompanied by a visual confirmation of the relevant flight control movement, if it can be seen from the pilot seat. The right aileron is right behind the red flag. During the takeoff roll, visual confirmation of airspeed increasing and the rotation to become airborne is done with reference to indicated airspeed. This is the biggest one. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six opportunities that the pilot had to realize that this cover was on and rectify the situation but instead they managed to get airborne and felt it necessary to whip out the old iPhone and document it for some Instagram likes later. Now call me a cynic, but I find it very difficult to believe that a well-intentioned, conscientious pilot could miss all of these chances to notice something staring them in the face and get into the air. If that's genuinely what happened here, then fine. And if you really felt the need to record it, okay. But the tone of the video that was uploaded is, is as if the situation is a joke and it really isn't. What we're seeing here is one of three situations. The pilot completed all the checks we mentioned before and didn't complete them with enough competence to see the issue. The pilot didn't complete the checks that we mentioned before and just jumped into the aircraft and went for it. The pilot intentionally took off knowing that the pitot cover was on to make the coveted viral video, which given the way the video was made, I personally think is the most likely case. 
The video frames the situation as if it's a joke, but here is a case of a Cirrus going flying with the Peter cover on, and I can't imagine anyone saw the funny side of this situation. I'm seeing a growing and troubling trend online of so-called pilots using their aircraft to create some sort of viral content with little regard for threat and error management that we should all be considering at all times. I am not about shaming genuine mistakes and if this pilot had made a video displaying their error showing a copy of the safety report that I'm sure they filed and using it as an opportunity to explain how to avoid this happening in the future I'd be more supportive but instead we just get an oopsies Instagram reel. Maybe some people just aren't cut out for aviation.